Alright What's up guys, welcome to E-Tactics or Airsoft Troopers Today, this video is about um, replacing the firing pin And at the same time, we'll be changing the uh, valve knocker Because I was informed that it's the next thing that will get worn out So, on my High Kappa AW um, I had already broken the uh, firing pin Now, um, just for the record um, this AW high cap has taken a lot of beating like a lot of beating you know so um, like it has hit, it had already fell off my holster because I didn't lock it and uh, like other reasons like I already have used it so anyways long story short um, the stock firing pin has already broken off so let me just lower the volume a bit okay so so now I'll be replacing it. So that's the video is about. But since at the same time, um, I'll be replacing the valve knocker. Now um, these parts were bought from CSPC. Actually, they're uh, the Custom Works. Uh, CS Pro Custom Works. Um, it's a good shop to check uh, if you need some parts. You may want to go to their um, Facebook page. And I got the Cow Cow. These are stainless. And this is also maybe steel. But I think it's also stainless for Marui. I, the brand is Garder. Okay, this is the the one that was advised for me. So, uh, long story short, we'll be doing that, and then maybe because I just came off the game from Makati Warzone, I'll be also posting their link. So, guys, if you wanna if for whoever watching, if you wanna try their game site, it's a good game site indoor. Uh, after we replace it, I'll be cleaning it as well. So you know, minor cleanup. So, but you can watch this video if you if your um if it, the issue is I have cases where the slider locks like this, it jams here, so I need to like recock it because uh, what happens inside is this part has already um cut off. It. Okay, again, there you go, unwrapping. Later you'll see it. What happened is on my side this part has already cut off. The stock one I think is um cast iron it's or a cast alloy of some sort that that is well cast so you know it, 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 will, it will be have some brittle factor in them so with that said let's move so okay here's the part let's just make sure that I don't lose it okay again this is cow cow let's put it there and put the sticker of where I bought it again check your website this one will also be replacing this one so just set it aside um, I'll just explain the tools we'll need when we get there as you can see even though this thing has broken off you can still use it, but again, yes, there will be a, a jamming factor, meaning I had experienced it a while ago again. So that's why I already bought one. So here we go. We'll be only focusing on this side. Let's do this. Time now is 12.30 a.m. So why do this at midnight? Because, well, if you know why people start playing airsoft, then the reason is because for whatever reason that they started it and it's still there. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me just adjust my camera. Well, I'll just adjust how I disassemble it. Um, my, I will have difficulty um, removing this one because I just want to give you guys a good view on it. Maybe I can like put this one a little bit closer. There we go. I'll just I'll just close, raise it. So after you move that, uh, we'll be cleaning this one later. So let's just focus on this side. So okay, first things first is you'll need your anvil, which is I have a nail. A small hammer of some sort. I have my try tool, the T tool we have. So we'll be removing this pin now. For the newbies out there who's unsure about this pin, you just knock it off. Now, if you're unsure which side to go to, you can knock it off a little bit. But if everything, if you think it's jamming more, like you're having difficulty, actually, a few taps should do the work. Sorry, let's just do it this way. A few taps should already uh, do the work. If, if you're having a hard time, like I think it's supposed to be this way, which whichever side that that it will release. No, I'm pretty sure it's the other way. But uh, there you go. See, there you go. Again, you can always use a hammer for this one, but. Now, 
my slider is off let me just release the spring because th that that position the spring is loaded let's remove this one okay let's remove the nail the magwa will be removed now this one will slide off this has a spring so just be careful okay as you can see it will now the tension will release set that aside let's make sure that we don't lose any of it okay here we will remove the spring one now let's remove that one there now be careful with the spring okay uh remember for, again for newbies uh this one has a huge um majority of the performance of our pistol high cap in this manner well actually, I, I believe all pistols is on how well the tension the spring is positioned so like uh, a strong grip here you'll just adjust, adjust this one a stronger um release or the trigger will affect this too so anyway that will be from an, for another video focusing here now after we're removing that one we will now be removing the lower guard so we'll be need we'll be removing um let me just get the correct allen wrench but in this case there's a bolt here that we'll be removing so let's just remove that one I just came off a game from Makati Warzone. Fun game. I got shot a lot. Okay, after we remove that one, we'll just have to remove this two and then the entire lower guard will slide off. Now let me just get my Allen key set. There we go. And I think it's this one. Yep, that one. Okay, so let's just set this aside. Remember, keep your work site clean. And that's why the only clean part is the one that I am showing you guys in the camera. Okay, after you have removed this one, okay, hide that. Why am I doing this so fast? Well, I'm not sure if it's fast, but I'm actually doing it as fast as I can. Or maybe on the video later when I post, when I edit it, I will try to, um, you know, speed it up a bit. You know, I, I understand that not all are fond of watching slow videos. So we've set this one aside. Now we are here. Now at this part, we should be like slightly careful. Okay, here we go. First, we remove this one. Now remember, for newbies, this thing that holds that remains pressure on our lock lock latch. Not sure what is that called. Lock latch. This is spring loaded, so you be careful with that one. So for now, you put your thing, you you rock it back. Hold this one, then just wiggle this one. You it will come off. Now, as you remove this one, that that small piece can shoot out. So you make sure that you either catch it with your hand, or just if you're aware like this, I'm already like stopping it, right? So now there's a spring there. Here's there's two pin. This pin that holds the slide lock, and then there's a spring there, and then this piece. So be careful that that one doesn't fall off anywhere, right? So okay, since we have already removed the uh, the slide lock, this part will remove. Okay, now again the spring is still there now you have to be, be very careful now let me just get a small allen wrench so that i can poke it out i hope i'm giving you guys some a good view on this one okay so i can't poke it out anyways just remind okay we will see it later on so now as yes, we will remove this screw here make sure that you guys are using the appropriate size uh cross screwdrivers because if you're using like the wrong one uh, you can wear off the threads like I, uh, well, I I learned that one the hard way I'm sorry you guys are, can't see that but again I'll just be removing this one okay because I need to make sure that it lays flat so that I will not the spring will not fall off okay just a second sorry sorry no view no view sorry I know I know I know I just can't leave it from okay there we go removing the screw now and there you go okay so this part I'll just be removing it again we have a spring there okay here we go we lift this side panel off okay this is the part that we're gonna change now there's the spring see that's the one that i'm oh you guys can't see that can you let's just like lower that more okay there you go let's remove this one let's hide that one hide that one okay there you go now at this part actually you can, okay since we're already here just for the newbies you can Remove that part like that. Remove this part like this. This is actually this is actually like the very broken part of it. But yeah, since we're not gonna do much here, we'll just return them back again. Not much to worry from there. Just make sure that everything's everything. What does that mean? Everything's everything. That's what it means. Okay, now we're focusing here. Now for the, again for the newbies, this is spring loaded, so be careful. This is the part that we will be replacing later on. With again. 
thank you to Custom Pro to CS Pro Customs still having difficulty with that one we'll be replacing this one with that one but okay now again this is spring loaded okay guys so how do you do this one what you do is you will lift this off okay let's just zoom it in now okay again this is spring loaded okay you just try to uh, push this if you lift that one actually you can just lift this side to remove the tension of the spring but again because see there you go now it will not spr uh, jump off and then you can just uh, remove it now like that see this is one part that we will be replacing this is the part that knocks the the outlet valve of our high capos okay so this is the part now that we'll have to replace again inside of this one is the spring see this one no longer rise up okay so here we go again sorry I'll be blocking it for now because uh, sorry there you go I'm not sure if you guys can see that one there you go okay I guess I just have to watch from the video then you know like protective yeah let's lower, let's lower that one and I'll just watch the video hopefully I don't not hit hit the camera don't lose the spring now okay so removing that one and there you go again the spring loaded don't release your hand just make sure that you'll not lose any of this I'm just putting it in my small pan there we go again this is spring load okay prepare to catch anything that fires away there you go see there's a spring hold it let's just relieve the spring of its pressure there you go good job guys now as you can see we're now here at the part that we need to replace as you can see this part is the most inner one so just to show a side by side comparison this is the new part again it's from <gasps> custom pro sorry cs pro custom okay so that's the part there again it's broken now, again once again i just want to say that this is a stock part um actually it's it uh, for me again the way how i'm using it and how many times i have dropped it i'm not surprised that actually i mean i'm even surprised that it's still working you know so let's just set it aside and you know you'll never know when you're gonna need it something broken like if you have friends that broke theirs and they still just want to use it without buying a new one they can still use that one there is a jamming factor of course so with that said now here we go we're now gonna reassemble it again from here it is spring loaded uh, you guys uh, watch out perfect wow now that's a perfect fit now one thing I really like about um, well on the uh, CS Pro customs is that uh, thank you again is it, that's Clyde right yeah Clyde sir Clyde um, uh, very great customer support uh, we I bought it and then we met at uh, Makati war zone that's where I got the got it from him talk about delivery thank you again so here we go we're now gonna close it now I have forgot how to close it just kidding there you go see this is the screw part that's where it goes there see now there you go okay now before we fully close this one the pin can you guys see it sorry I just need to make sure that you guys are seeing it otherwise I have no idea why I'm making this video there you go just like poof perfect fit guys I mean that's what you want when you buy a spare part it's a perfect fit of course it has to be a perfect fit okay now then you make sure that you get the right screwdriver and the right screw like that screw it in again just take and make sure that you got the right screwdrivers again for newbies and maybe who's not um a tool literate there are a lot of um screwdriver sizing as you can see this one's broad this one's is this one is good for um in in uh uh like in the high kappa magazine this is good for that one but this is not this is not good for this one this is as you can see this one is sharper this is good for like um like uh, for example the the, the screwdriver for the, from the uh from the trigger guard or for the uh for the one inside the uh the uh rear iron side this is good for that one but this one's no good for that one just so you guys have an idea that there's a different one if you use the wrong one it will get worn out so e uh, easily so okay now will be this again this is the stock part but we will be replacing that one with 
Gordon. Once again, thank you. Oh, this is so much commercial. Ooh. Okay, there we go. This is a girder brand. Then, then it, we'll just put a side by side comparison. Oh, wait, so much plastic packaging. Why is there so much plastic packaging so that it will not get lost? Wow, this is like a good quality Ziploc bag. Seriously, like it's not the thin one. I'm keeping this one. This is a good Ziploc bag. See, now you guys can do a side by side comparison between the two. Actually, I think this one is again. It's because of the the alloy on how this one's made. I think this is again. As you can see, there's like a cast. You know where it, there the alloy flows. This one is like more of more solid, if I believe. So yeah, I'll be using this one. I will still set this one aside just in case for any emergencies. Okay, now we'll be using the spring here. Now again, as you can see, you just place that one there. And then from here, okay, here you go. This pin, this pin needs to go this side. And then you'll have to catch this. You can see that. You'll have to catch this side of the spring with this one. So what you do is you'll just like... Actually, let me try this way, okay? See if it will work. Like, I will catch it like that. Like, similar on how we installed it. Perfect. And then I'll just hold this one and just try to give it tension like this one. See if that one will work. But the problem here is that it hurts my finger a lot because it's a wire. Yeah, it's a wire. It hurts a lot. Anyway, that worked. Oh, see, it still hurts. Okay, just give me another try. Another try. Okay, there we go. Okay, la one last thing that we don't want to do is to make that one fly. So it's like this one. That's how it works. Bang. Ooh, okay, sorry. Can't do that if it's like, see, this thing's spring, spring loaded. Be careful. Okay, sorry if it's taking a little while. You can just fast forward here from here, but please bear. Now that this part is easier you hook this one and then using th this part you just latch it like that so that it will not hurt your finger that one's much better do that one instead perfect now again it's spring loaded don't don't like you know tap it off now we're just gonna put it back inside now again from here uh remember the spring here and the pin we can add that one later okay here we go closing it now now this the way the way how this works with one bolt is one side is latched on so it's like this, it's like that. Perfect. Now let's just get the screw. Sorry, in this case this is a bolt. The difference between a screw and a bolt is bolt is has a flat head while screws, this one's a screw. It's pointed. Normally they're designed for plastic parts, but of course as always you, they can still be used on metal parts. But you know. It's screw. This one's bolt. There we go. Perfect. Oh yeah, I can see the smoothness of that one. Okay, so let's just have a small tour of this part. Are you guys okay with that one? Okay, focus. Show me a good focus. There. Now that's not a good focus. Okay. Yeah. So that's th that's it. Okay, that's it. Next, we'll need to add the beaver tail. Beaver tail, here's the hammer, the hammer spring rod. Not sure if that's the universal name for that. Okay, so now let me get my pin, my spring, my pin. Now let's put this one here. See, that's how it works. And then this one again this will be spring reloaded later so see actually it's already spring loaded now I'll just remove this part so that it will be a little bit easier okay game so again so to lock this one in place <gasps> there's just that no let's remove that one <gasps> and then this one because that one will fall off 
put this one like that and then there you go but we have to do it like this hold it in place just so the the beaver tail won't fall off okay here we go okay so this is how you do this one okay can you see that good camera angle here we go here we go this is one of the most scary part okay there you go and then there you go again you have to on how you how the other one is aligned you also have to align your uh, other side but of course that will not go in you need a small tool to push that pin off and then there you go Boop. sorry have to align them too okay it's ready in you just need to make sure that that pin is there you go sorry i hope you guys saw that one but the idea is you just need to make sure that that one's like that then as you can see it's good now that's it actually from here we're almost done okay let's do yeah we're almost done here and now we're just gonna which word part actually yeah we're almost done we're gonna put the handle now okay let's move the zoom out a bit is that okay yeah okay okay there you go as you can see it's not that difficult the only thing that will make this one difficult if, if it's your first time and you're unaware of the part where there are springs like this part if you're going to remove this mag release that one has a spring but it uh then yeah the lower the leaf spring this part has a spring so you have to be careful with this one especially if it's loaded there you go Again, time now is wow 1248 what time did I said the time when we started I have no idea wow this video is already like 20 minutes long I'm so sorry but yeah that's the time that you'll need as you can see like it's just chill it's a, it's a chill assembly as long as if you know you what you're doing or you don't encounter any other possible breakage it's a smooth uh, assembly actually last night I tried to disassemble it that's when I found out that it had a uh, had that broken pin which again luckily it's still it was still usable during the game handles good here we go here comes the tricky part now I'll do my part for the community and also try to share my version on how to put this properly okay can you guys see that okay now there's there's two parts that's very critical here and that is dun, 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 dun. can you guys see it this black part there's this metal part right you see that metal part and then there's it's actually one piece with this one that's the disconnector the, this sorry the silver on oh, sorry the silver this silver and this silver is one piece this part needs to be touching this piece and this one is for the hammer for this one sorry not hammer for the sear I'm not sure if I got the right the right name though uh, this connector sear hammer yeah I believe this is the sear or just if you're watching this video this black part I believe this is the sear I know that I know that that's the sear so that's actually the only critical part that you'll have to do when you install that this spring you just need to make sure that it does not go under the sear it needs to be over the sear if 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 you if you, if you put the 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 middle spring on the uh, under the sear you'll have continuous fire you know it'll be like and then it will empty your it will empty the entire oh by the way um, this gun is semi auto only not no full auto it's an AW sorry guys you'll see that it's, it's 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 a little bit tricky not difficult just tricky because um the fits like you need to make sure that this flange is will hit that that slit so please forgive me okay go okay and then we just drop it like so Sorry, actually, the, the camera because I can I'm uh, I'm having difficulty with the camera angle. So again, please bear with me. If you don't want to see this one, just fast forward a bit. Okay, just pull it back a bit. There you go. 
see now it, it's lying flush it's lying flush oh that's wrong as you can see here what happened is this is exactly what I'm saying not to do the the metal part is under the sear so wrong that's wrong it has to be over the sear so one more time above the sear I'm sorry I guess I hope it's above anyway I, you see where it's wrong right there you go. above the sear Okay, another view. Let's just remove the rod. See? I'm afraid that if I remove my finger from this position, it will just fall off again. So, okay. One more time for educational purposes and for new high copper fixers, or they call them gunsmith. This one is on the disc. Ah, moving. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. There you go. Yeah, perfect. The middle one is on the black part, not under it. A little bit closer. There you go. Yeah, perfect. That's a good view. This is a good view. Like, like take a picture of this and, you know, for reference. See, it's on the black part. It's not under the black part. Oh, it's moving. And then the third one is just above the disconnector, the silver one. Again, the silver one is one piece with the silver one beneath the sorry beneath the middle spring so this middle spring should be above the, the sear not with the same part of this one okay now let's just put the pressure on that one and then adding this one now just to add a certain height to semi lock it in place now this that's that spring that uh, leaf spring will no longer move now, sorry, I have to use the gravity here just so it will drop perfectly there because that one should go inside. I'm sorry, I think I don't think you guys can see that one, but anyway, sorry. Okay, okay, for video's sake, for video's sake. It's because my camera is, you know, positioned at top, right? Anyway, bottom line, this rod should go inside, okay? You guys can find that one you guys are smart okay there you go see inside you got it then this lock should be inside so let's just release it a bit like that there you go now from here there will be already a small te uh, spring tension from here but it's supposed to be like that see there you go now from here actually if you, if you already do this you can already oh now there's a spring tension Wait. What you do is you get an Allen key, jam it there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is for testing purposes. Just get an Allen key, jam it there. Slide lock, as you can see it will bite. Okay, everything works perfectly. Actually, from here we can do this. Just so to do an actual test. See, it works. Okay, so now actually we're just gonna close it up. Okay, now actually this is already a lengthy video, so maybe I'll put the uh, cleaning video on a different video, or maybe not include that part because it's already 30 minutes. Anyways, long story short, where's the pin? Magwell pin. There we go. Now I forgot which part, which part. So again, like what I said a while ago, you just, um, you... It, uh, if it's if you're having difficulty don't force it you you might have the 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 wider wider diameter part uh, it's not aligned sorry it's not aligned it's not aligned there you go perfect now just tap it a bit see if it goes in if it okay it goes in so that's the correct one if you're having see see how the gentle tap works I mean if you're already like putting so much force in it then it's all wrong you have to do it the other way now let me just like fully flush it out maybe a little bit more let's get our friendly nail Ta -da! so as you can see that's perfect now again so I'll do the cleaning on a separate video but from here you're good now for the sake of the video we'll just close this one again put 
that one like that. Add the lock back. There you go. Now it has the stainless steel firing pin and a steel valve knocker. Yeah, I need to, I need to do some cleaning. I think this part is a little bit jaggy. See, it's not fully retracting. I'll, I'll have to do some cleaning. But other than that, it will work. Yeah, so once again, thank you. CS Pro Custom for this two nice item. I will set this uh, stock parts aside since I'm not sure if I can solder this. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Have fun. Make friends. Keep a cool head. You know. <laughs>